Yo, yo, welcome back to my channel. And in this episode, I want to show y'all how to make this bomb that I just made. Like, watch this. Boom. <laughs> so, if you guys want to know how to make this bomb, watch this tutorial because it's about to be simple and cool. Now, if you want to get caught up to where I'm at as far as like your scene, I opened up a brand new project and I used the little blue cubes that come with the starter map and I just duplicated them. Then I added in some stuff from the starter content, which usually when you start a new project, you add starter content. And I just put some uh, props out there. But the most important part for this to work is all these props, you have to make sure once you have them in your level, you come over here to the right and you click simulate physics, right? So each one of these has simulate physics. Now, let's go ahead and make the bomb, all right? So, in your third person or wherever, your content browser, for me, I'll do it here, you want to add a new blueprint class, which is an actor, and we're going to call it BP underscore bomb. All right. Now, if you double click on this bomb, let's add a few things to it. So, the first thing we want to add is a static mesh. So, this static mesh can either be this static mesh or just like a sphere, right? For... for this example purposes I'm gonna do a sphere if you already have like a bomb that you built in blender or you downloaded from the internet just put a static mesh and then you know replace the the mesh with your your mesh so in this case we'll do a sphere and that sphere looks beautiful okay and then the other thing to make this bomb work we need a sphere collision so press add and type in sphere collision all right so this is going to be our actual bomb, to be honest. So compile, save. Let me show you. So click on the sphere collision. And let's make it big so we can see it. Right now, the scale is 1. And we need to take note of that because you can't see it at the scale 1. So when we make it bigger, this is how big our bomb is going to come out to. So we're going to scale it up to like 15 so it affects everything around it. So for now, let's change it back to 1. And compile and save in the event graph this is where we can start writing the code for this bomb so for this bomb I want it to blow up in three seconds right so as soon as it spawns I want it to blow up in three seconds so we can actually do from event begin play and we can say delay for three seconds then what we want to do is grab your sphere collision right and you want to say set scale or set 3d scale is going to be 3d just type in 3d so set world scale 3d and you connect that up and this scale is going to be 15 like we just saw so type in 15 on the x 15 on the y and 15 on the z cool so now that that uh, sphere is going to blow up but right at this stage, because we know we want to make this sphere affect all the physics objects, let's go down while you have this sphere clicked on on this side in the details on the right. What you want to do is go to collision, simulate generate hit events. Also, collision presets block all dynamic. You can really have it on block all like so it won't miss anything, right? So block all, and then what we want is the sphere right here to s retract sets. Um, so you, actually, we just copy and paste this whole thing right here. Copy and paste. So we'll make this one go back to one. So the sphere collision goes back inside. But before we do that, we need a delay. So let's put a delay. And this is how long the the bomb will be active for. So you don't need it to be active for a long time. So I'm going to set put 0.3 and hook it up. And now what's going to happen is our bomb's going to wait three seconds to go. And then it's going to blow up and it's going to turn back. Uh, after this, you can put another delay. Actually, you can just destroy the actor after that. So destroy the whole actor. Um, so the delay is if you want the shell, 
if you put a delay here, you can see the shell of the bomb after it blows up. So here, we'll put one just so you can see that happening. So small delay there. And now the bomb works. So the next thing we need to do is add sound effects and stuff. So right after it gets big, let's go ahead and say play sound 2D. And the sound that you want, it should come straight from the starter content. It's explosion one or two, doesn't matter. Um, also, we need to add some kind of like particles to it. So compile, save. And if you added the starter content, you're going to have everything that I have right here. So press plus sign and add a cascade particle system. And make sure that system is going underneath the sphere, the original one. And for the template on the right hand side, just choose explosion. And as you see, there's an explosion there. For me, I'm going to scale it up five times. So it's a big explosion. And that's good for me. Uh, compile, save. For the explosion, come down on the right-hand side in the details. And where it says auto active, you want to make sure you uncheck that box. Compile and save. Cool. So right after it plays the sound, or right before it plays the sound even, you can say... Um, Let's actually drag out our particle system and say activate. Perfect. So that looks like a pretty good bomb to me. So what's going to happen is it's going to delay three seconds. Then it's going to blow up with our sound and our particles. Then it's going to delay 0.3 seconds and it's going to go back down to the regular size and it'll destroy the actor. Again, I don't want this delay in here. I just put it in there. So if you want to see the shell of your bomb afterwards, that's what that delay is for. So for me, I'm going to delete that one and hook that up. Compile and save. Now, uh, oh, most important part is on the sphere, the whole bomb itself, click on the top sphere right here. And we need to make sure simulate physics is turned on. Compile and save. And now we need to control the force of this bomb. Like, how strong will this bomb be? Well, in order con to control the force, go to your sphere collision. And down here where it says mass, click the mass button. And let's add a couple zeros here, a lot of zeros. So that's 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, million. Keep on going. Just a lot of zeros. You know what I'm saying? Don't overdo it because it's going to be too strong. But... That's enough zeros for me. Safe. Now I need a way for the player to throw this bomb um, because we got a bomb, but it doesn't do anything. So the player needs to be able to throw the bomb out to initiate it. So for me, let me delete that code there. But uh, for me, what I did is actually, hold on. Let me delete this one. <laughs> for me, what I did was the E key. So E keyboard. Find the E key down here. And when you press the E, you want to spawn an actor from the class. Which actor do you want to spawn? You want to spawn that bomb actor. Cool. Where do you want to spawn it, though? That's, that's important. So on your third person character, uh, go to the viewport here. And let's add a scene component. This scene component will be dragged underneath our mesh. And here is where you want to drop the bomb. Now, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could either give your bomb some projectile movement and then you can throw the bomb. Or right here, you'll be able to drop the bomb at this designated location. And since it has physics, it's going to look pretty cool. So at that scene, we're going to grab that off of here and say get world location. All right, and then for the spawn actor, what you want to do is right click split pin structure and hook the location up to the location. The rotation doesn't matter and the scale it's already set to one. So we're good. Um, yeah, that's it. So when you press the E key, it's going to spawn the bomb at the place where you want it to. So let's test it out and let's see if this bomb works. When I press play, come over here. And I'm going to hit the E key, and I'm going to run for the... Woo! 
Ooh, everything blew up. So that works. It's a perfect bomb. Let's try it again. Perfect. All right, cool, y'all. So thank you for joining me on the YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for joining me for this tutorial. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. But that's that's pretty much it. I showed you how to make a bomb. Hope you have a great day. And stay creative. And peace. Holla at y'all in the next one.